guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a couple days since um, I vlogged last. I think the last time I vlogged was um, opening up some packages. But now it's been, I think that was Thursday. And today is Tuesday. Ooh. And I am running out of the house. I need to take a drink of water. My throat is like dry. Halloween is in two days. And um, yeah, Bray is really excited about it because she cannot wait to wear her costume. Um, she's gonna be mini this year. This year, we didn't really put that much like thought into a costume or whatever because we were in the middle of moving when um, when we went to go look for a costume um, so she's gonna be mini I don't like to dress up on Halloween um, and Jacob's not doing anything we're not like dressing up as a family we normally don't um, just because I really don't care for Halloween I know a lot of people who love Halloween and I'm just not that, not that one. Um, I'd rather, you know, spend money on decorations for Christmas and um, like Thanksgiving decor, stuff like that, but Halloween I'm not really into. Um, so anyways, I am on my way to the post office I need to pick up our mailbox key we've been in the house for I want to say a week and a half or almost yeah a week and a half um, and we still haven't gotten we still haven't gotten our mailbox key so, yeah, there's that. Um, the key that they gave us, the previous owners gave us a key, but it did not work to any of the mailboxes. Um, Jacob tried to unlock all of the mailboxes and it worked for literally nothing. So he um, had a key made for our mailbox, so. Oh. <sighs> I am so tired. But Jacob, right now, he's at work. Um, he's working days this week. He'll be off tomorrow night. Um, but he has a little cold. Um, I guess um, he got it um, from work and he now has like stuffy nose, he's sneezing all the time, he lost his voice, um, oops, um, so yeah, he's under the weather. A few things are getting delivered today, um, we got our lights uh, for the out side I will show you a picture of like what we're doing out back um, it's gonna be so pretty at night like I'm so excited um, and I don't know like this house just feels like serene like when you go out into the backyard it just feels like you're on vacation or something I don't know it just feels so like relaxing and calm and I just love the way our house feels um, I don't know if I said this but on Wednesday last week we had um, one of the deacons from the church nearby that I used to go to um, he came over and he blessed the house and um, I love that we got the house blessed. Like, we did it with our last house too. Um, it's just something that we, um, 
it's just something that we do, I guess, every time we move. We didn't do it with our first house, um, but we were so young. We bought our first house when we were both 19, and I feel like we, you know, that house was just like a party house. We didn't really think about like our future and our family, and uh, you know, you just want the space that you're, you're living in to be blessed and um, and um, you know, like you want to feel good in where you're living, and that is why we bless our houses. But anyways. <laughs> Um, I don't even know what I was, oh, backyard. So we ordered, um, some backyard couches, like a little sectional to go in the back and I can't wait for it to come because we have like a little section, um, like in the back, um, on the left side that is poured with concrete and it's perfect for our um, table and chairs so that is out there but we needed something to um, put like in the front of the backyard um, there's just like a lot of concrete um, cement where um, you're able to you know kind of fill it with something we have this little um, section that's right off of like our patio and uh, it would be perfect for like a couch. Um, so we ordered a sectional to go there. So when, um, you know, Braylon plays in the backyard, which she absolutely loves her backyard, um, we're able to like sit comfortably um, out there. So, cause right now we're sitting on a nice chest, <laughs> but our patio furniture should be here November 6th through the 11th or something. And then we have her toy box coming today, which I'm really excited about because, um, I really wanted this toy box even when we were at the last house because it's a lot bigger. We have her toys right now just in like a Tupperware box and it's just like overflowing and crowded and the toys just get like, you know, thrown everywhere and they fall out of the box because it's not big enough. She just has too many, she just needs to get rid of her toys. That's coming today and it's gonna look so good. We're uh, by the fireplace. And then um, our di round dining table is um, coming today. And I have to be home for that around oops, around like three to six, he said. Um, so we ordered some chairs off of Amazon and um, they came last week and they are really, really pretty. Um, so I'm just excited to like put it all together and see what it looks like when it's all you know put together so I am here gonna pick up our keys so um I will catch up with you guys when I get back either either in the car or at home probably not. okay back home and I feel like my throat is getting scratchy. I'm going to kill Jacob if he really gets me sick, for reals. So, I'm gonna make me some soup. And we got the mail, or I got the mail, and it was only just like mail. <laughs> just regular mail and um, there's like nothing I could put you guys on. Mail, there we go, you're in my spice cabinet. Mail and um, an Amazon pack, um, package that only had a charger, um, some little razors, my tinkle razors that I use, and a to-do list notebook. 
and that was it. But I wanted to, oh, one second. So, this came yesterday because I could not find my old one of, um, of these like stands. Tripod. So, Jacob ordered me a new one. What is the correct way to open these plastic things? Oh. It just makes vlogging so much easier. I do have my other big stand, but kind of like obnoxious. This one is just handy. Handy dandy. Cool. <laughs> Forgot you guys were in there. So a little Target haul yesterday, from yesterday. Jacob ordered some clothes for Brad and he picked out the cutest, cutest clothes. So, set you down, and I will show you right now. So she needed some socks, so I got her. These are actually boy socks. But with being girls, like there's, you can't find ever like neutral gray black socks unless they're boys, so. Got both. And then this sweater, this is really cute. It's like a thermal sweater and it has a little bow detail on the sleeve. These cute little sparkly shoes. A lot of leggings because she really grew out of her leggings. So black, black sparkles. What's wrong? And then these like jeggings. And then this little sparkle gray shirt. This one's really cute. And then this shirt says, I love my family, which would be so cute with um, our for Thanksgiving. Blue long sleeve. Um, a pink long sleeve. Just like good basics. And this one is my favorite. So cute. It's just like a zipped hoodie. And then pink leggings. And then this jacket. It's a white fur jacket but has wings on the back. And like some stuff on the hood and like a unicorn horn. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Our table is delivered. This is it. Oh, we'll go perfect right here. There's the chairs. Um, and I'm guessing these are the legs. But I need to go outside because Bray's outside. But I wanted to show you where our furniture would go. So we plan on, hi, we plan on getting like a game table for right here, either like a shuffleboard table because we love to play shuffleboard. Um, so either that or like an air hockey table or just something cool and like a game to put right here. And then the sectional that we got will go right here. Um, so yeah, the sectional, it will go like, it's like one piece this way and then a long piece that way and then one piece that way. Um, I actually didn't even measure, <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that it's going to fit. But this is a little slab of concrete I was talking to you or telling you guys about earlier. So we just put our um, table and chairs out there and... Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, so, I don't know if you, 
guys can tell, but like in our neighbor's backyard here, there's the house, it's right here. And then they added on this extra like patio covering. Um, and I would definitely want to do that. It's like really dusty out here because the gardener. But anyways, I would really want to do that um, and just like extend it from here to there. Um, come on, let's go inside. No. Yeah, because it's going to make us sneeze and our eyes watery. Come on. And let's put a jacket and shoes on you. It's cold out here. Come on. No. Let's go put your jacket on, then we can come back, okay? Get your hand out of your pants. Why? Um. But, oh, and I was gonna show you. So, our light. So, I will show you um, a picture like on Pinterest or something of like inspiration. But basically, I wanna hang lights like from the house, from like right here, and go like across, and then come back and then across. Um, I'll show you some, what I'm thinking. Um, some inspo on Pinterest, but <laughs> ugh, there's flies everywhere because we always leave the door open. Um, but yeah, that is our plans, and we got those lights in yesterday. Um, so what came today was our dining table, which um, is perfect. I think this is the perfect size for in here. We actually got another dining table the other week, last week, from World Market. And it was, I mean, I thought it was really cute, but in the end, like, it was way too small. Like, it just looked like, like Braylon. Like Braylon's table. Like, it could be for like a kid. So, we did have it here, but we returned it, and then we just, got it was like 36 inches um and it was like 36 inches way too small so we ordered a 48 inch dining round table to go in here the only thing is i need to see what the wood looks like because i don't know if it's gonna go good with the wood that is on the chairs um online it looked a lot more grayer but in person it looks um more like whitewashed instead of like a true wood whoa that was pretty cool baby um don't mind my house it's a disaster um but anyways so i really need to when jacob gets home he's gonna undo it or unbox it and everything and see how it looks um so i just i want to make sure that it looks good um and because i love love these chairs well be careful love these chairs so i would really hate to return them and i'll show you the box that it came in they all came already done and they just got like delivered in these huge boxes like so I mean I really don't want to have to return them they were all in these boxes not even know how you would return like big furniture like that to Amazon I have no idea I've never done it and honestly I really don't want to try um so yeah, the, aye, aye, aye. Um, the rest of the chairs are out here. Um, so we got four of them. Um, but this room is basically done. He just needs to paint, which you guys will have already seen that. Um, but this right here, this chair um, is going. We are gonna get like a love seat couch right here um 
and then we're going to mount a TV on there and this will be like our formal holiday um, special room um, our Christmas tree I want it to go right in that corner and then like for Thanksgiving time or whatever use you know this side and um, we have a bench on the other side. So it looks like we only have four chairs, but there's a bench on that side. It's just the bench that we had from our old house. Um, but yeah, we thought that this little chair was gonna be perfect in here and it was gonna like pull the room together, but no, it's freaking tiny. Um, we kind of underestimated how big this room is. Um, I thought that with, you know, that chair, with that console, with our huge dining table and chairs, it was going to be like crammed and it's like you need bigger furniture to fill this room. Like, it's just so big. But not complaining, I freaking love it. It's going to be perfect for the holidays and, you know, to host holidays here. I just, I freaking can't wait. I really can't wait. Oh no. What is that? Oh, are those the rocks from outside? Great. Okay, so here, uh, here's some inspo for what I'm thinking for the backyard. Um, you know, just these kind of like string lights. I think they're so like magical and pretty and they really light up your whole backyard so super excited to get those done and like this that one is so pretty yes I can't wait to hang them I was gonna cook dinner but I just don't feel good like I'm like really tired Yesterday, I, well, Sunday, I felt super good, so I think I just, like, overdid it. Um, I cleaned the whole house, did all the laundry, and usually, like, I don't do that. I usually, like, pace myself, so I don't get like this. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna go grab Habit for dinner. I love their salad, so, and then Braylon will get... Actually, she said she wanted mac and cheese for dinner, so I'm just gonna make her some mac and cheese here. And then um, we'll probably leave her in a bit when Jacob calls me when he gets off of work, and then we'll leave so that way we can come home right when he gets home with Pop. All right, so here's the toy box. It looks so good here. We're watching Breaking Bad. Braylon already got red marker all over it. So I need to get a magic eraser and take that off. And here's the table. It, it looks really, really good. I think it really does. We were kind of concerned that this wood was going to be different from this like it wasn't going to go but i feel like it does like hold on let me get over here i feel like it really does why what oh it's so pretty there maybe i can find like a round rug for underneath and then we're gonna hang um one of our like De not decals, but like one of our canvases. I don't know which one though. And then probably like our two wall sconces on each side. I think that would be really pretty because those two wall sconces have like brown in them a little bit. Um, but I think it looks really good. It looks good, huh? <sighs> I love it. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting 
But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken.